Hello! Today I'm very excited because my moth box arrived so I am going to be unpacking that in this video. There's also a little summary of uh, what I got up to for cosy reading night uh, at the end of this video. It's about a minute long. Um, I just thought I'd do something a little bit different and sort of experiment with various sort of video styles. This arrived last week. Um, I've been very excited. Um, it's been sat across the room. I've been staring at it all week waiting until I could open it. So let's get down to it. Safety first. Would help if I actually knew how to open a box. Oh, that's cute. So I've opened it, that is really cool. It's got a little postcard and it says, the books in this box deal with family trauma and isolation in unique environments. They are both gritty, unrelenting reads that offer you an insight into the ways in which culture and belief can shape a life. For all their gravity, these books are not without hope and compassion. That sounds like my exact thing. So I'm going to pop that to one side um, and pop this down here as well. I'm going to be finding this stuff everywhere for the next six weeks. So let's unwrap. We've got these really cute bookmarks. So this is the Handsworth Times. This is the first book that I've opened um, by Sharon Dugal or Dougal or Dougal. This one says, they see a ball of flames moving towards them, an orange silk lantern floating on air. It is 1981 and Hansworth is teetering on the brink of collapse. Factories are closing, unemployment is high and National Front are marching and the neglected inner cities are ablaze as riots break out across Thatcher's fractured Britain. The Ogawals are facing their own nightmares, but family, pop music, protest, unexpected friendships and a community that refuses to disappear all contribute to easing their personal pain and that of Hansworth itself. This sounds really interesting. Uh, it's published by Blue Moose. I, I don't actually think I've read a book like this before. So yeah, really excited to start this one. One of those people that tries to save paper and just ends up with a pile of it that never gets used. Okay, on to the second book. Wow. So this is Sufficient Grace. Um, the cover looks really beautiful. Naked and plain, the trees stretch branches like antlers against the sky. Sufficient Grace is a story of lost innocence and the unfailing bond between two young women. It is at once devastating and beautiful and ultimately transcendent. Ruth and her cousin Naomi live in rural Wisconsin, a part of an isolated religious community. The girls' lives are ruled by the rhythms of nature, the harsh winters, the hunting seasons, the harvesting of crops, and by their family's beliefs. Beneath the surface of this closed, frozen world, hidden dangers lurk. So this book sounds a little bit like uh, the girls being part of a group, being um, led along by their beliefs. So I'm really interested to read this, and I, I just really love this this cover. So that was my Mothbox unboxing. I'm really excited to read the books that came in it um, and I'm sure I will let you know how they were once I finished them. I also finished Golden Hill recently so I'll be posting a video on that at some point in the future um, but for now I will leave you with my summary for Cozy Reading Night. Until future videos, take care of yourselves.